Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Cart Crazy. Well, got another episode on the Bandit for you. Yes, I still own that cart. It has not sold. So I kind of want to get into some of the things that I've wanted to on this cart and never got to. So come along for the ride. Let's get started. All right, here is the Bandit. Um, has not really changed any since the last time you all saw it. Um, literally, I don't think I've done anything to it other than drive it and enjoy it here for the last probably two months, I guess. It has been for sale kind of the wrong time of year. And another thing my wife pointed out is she's like, it looks just like every other golf cart, but you know, jacked up with nice wheels and nice seats. And I'm thinking, well, you're probably right. There's no headlight kit on it. I did actually get on the waiting list for a headlight kit for it. They're still on back order. So my plan was, why don't I do what I was originally going to do? I have all the parts here for it. That is um, basically, well, not everything, but the majority of what we need to do the um, tempo conversion is what I'll call it. Um, that's going to be a newer style front end. I've got to get the cowl. That's actually in the other room. I just realized that when I turned the camera around that I didn't bring that in here yet. So I'll grab that. But I also ordered these uh, fancy lights. Uh, and these are supposed to be able to hook up to your phone and you can change these whatever color you want, like red, blue, green on this outer edge here. Uh, looks like it comes with everything, the, the blinker stick, all the wiring, even the uh, voltage reducer. So probably the biggest challenge of all this is going to be cutting those headlights out. I, I'm sure it comes with some kind of a template or something, but getting that right um, and then just reversing what we did here. I did order um, the correct side pieces. These aren't even the right ones that are on here for that. Um, for the tempo conversion, I just have to uh, find them. I, I stashed them somewhere and I'm not 100% sure where I put them, so I got to dig those out. And that's pretty much everything we need. Actually, the front bumper is a little bit different as well. This one probably would work, but I see I never even bolted this one in. It's just sitting there. So we'll kind of reverse what we've got going on there and kind of eyeball this other stuff up and see what we need to do to get these uh, headlights cut out. All right, found that piece uh, in the other room. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull everything off here. Hopefully I can leave the windshield and everything on for now. I will have to pull it off probably to do these um, little deflector plates when I find those because I don't think they'll go off the bottom. I think they actually have to go off the top, which means the windshield, the roof, and everything's got to come apart. But we'll worry about that later. Let's get the, uh, let's see if we can get this nose removed and start reassembling. All right, got the old one tore off and kind of left everything in one chunk there. That's all bolted up underneath. Just doing a little test fitting here. Um, never had a tempo slash onward apart before. And of course, this didn't come with any instructions. I ordered all these pieces individually. Not that we really need them. Um, it looks like um, the, what I call the bumper, which really isn't a bumper, um, bolts up underneath just like it does on the precedent. I've just kind of got it sitting there. And then our, uh, you know, our, our white plastic will come and go over the top of that. So I think it's pretty much just plug and play more or less. I got to dig up some hardware here. I've got a bag full of extra hardware. I've got a, I think I need four, at least four, possibly six, just because I don't want to take that other one apart. I'll just leave it as a whole assembly. And then um, we can kind of eyeball it with the plastic on and then start running uh, some wiring and stuff for our headlights and see how, see how that goes. All right, well, y'all are gonna laugh at me here. I, I may end up pulling some screws out of that old one here is my club car assortment box, um, 90, probably 5% of what's in that box is all club car. 
This is what we actually need, kind of a shorter Torx. And I don't know that there's any in here. There may be one or two, but I'll do some more digging around. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll just have to pull some out of that other one. All right, got uh, kind of on there, I guess. I did bolt it in, so I think it's okay. Here's something I'm a little confused about because I don't do these every day. We're lining up good here. Of course, our cover is going to come, but then there's a big gap here. And those of you that do this every day are probably yelling at the TV right now saying, well, yeah, that's because yada yada. But I'm assuming that cover that I have that I can't find is um, going to hide all of that just because we're doing a conversion here. And I've never done it. I'm not sure, but that's my assumption. So let me get um, our plastic, our white plastic. Let me get all the, uh, the protective coating off of that. And we'll kind of set that in there, see how that looks. And then we can kind of eyeball these headlights. Well, let's see if we can learn something together here. Um, it's kind of on there and it's not going real great. I really need to just take these front uh, uprights off for the roof, but Remember how I was talking about this big gap before? I'm wondering if that sits in there different because everything is just all bound up, wrinkled up, not, not fitting good. So I gotta really kind of look at that a little closer. I'm probably rushing like I always do and just missing something here. So let me dive into that a little bit. All right, learn from Jeff's mistakes here. I'm gonna give you the Cliff Notes version. Um, this actually goes on the top side. I assumed it bolted on the bottom side, just like the precedent, but you can see now there's kind of provisions for these lineup pegs. So I think we're in business now. We'll set the, uh, the plastic body on there, the front body, and uh, see if we're right. All right, well, that looks a lot better. Got everything to line up accordingly. Even got the trim piece back on there. Nothing's bolted on yet. So that problem is solved. Let me crack this uh, light box open here and see what we got to do to get these headlight holes knocked out. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, driver's side, passenger side. Well, that's about as generic as that uh, generic can get, but hopefully we can make that work. I was hoping for like a chunk of plastic or something like this that would sit in there. Oh, that might work. And we could trace around the inside. Oh, good. There's a picture book. That's my favorite. And being that I've never done one of these before, I'm assuming these go in uh, on the back side. And then your headlight assembly must clip into that or bolt into that somehow. So just looking at the pictures here, after we cut our holes out for the headlights, it looks like these actually mount to um, the under cowl or cowl, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And then your body kind of goes back over the top. So getting those in the exact right spot is probably pretty important. Looks like it does come with a maybe a little trim ring or something, but it's probably not very forgiving. That's what it should look like when we're done. All right, let's give it a whirl. It says we're supposed to cut this out. I didn't know it was gonna be arts and crafts day today. I would've wore different clothes.
So I'm going to have to be pretty precise here. I've got to cut this center out. And then I can come in here with a marker, mark that, drill a hole, and then I'll use my air saw. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We screw up a expensive cowl? Yeah, yeah that could definitely happen. But hey, that's why you're watching this, right? You can watch me screw it up, and then you can know how to do it the right way. Seems like it's following the body lines pretty close. So that's helpful. Try not to put too much tape on here because I have to flip it over and use it on the other side, which Might come back to haunt me if I use too much tape. Pretty comfortable with that. I think we're just going to go for it here. My hunch is that this is going to be kind of a rough opening. And we'll have to... Uh, Come back through and do some final trimming. Somewhat straight, which is good. And by straight, I mean even on the edges. See my paper kind of crinkled up right there and so I'm going to come to the inside of my mark just to be sure. But my gap looks pretty even there. Gap looks pretty even there. All right, let's just drill a hole. And I am terrible about getting stuff straight and where I want it. So... Not real confident in myself here. <laughs> well, it's a start anyway. I'll probably have to come through here with my little air die grinder and get it a little better, but we have a headlight hole, so that's a plus. Now we can come over to this side. And there we go. Repeat the process. I probably should put the headlight in and make sure we're on the right track before I wreck this side too, but what fun would that be? If you're going to mess it up, you got to mess up both sides equally. Just going to kind of kamikaze it here. Wow. I mean, it looks good on paper. Oh, I know. My jokes are getting worse here. That edge looks good. That edge looks good. Okay, let's just go for it, I guess. This is maybe a little low. Let me redo that. I know, I said we were gonna go for it, and now I'm redoing it. All right, where's my Sharpie? Coloring was not one of my favorite pastimes. It's bad, but it's going to have to work. Uh, 
don't know. I might have to do that over. Either this side's wrong or this side's wrong, but they're not the same. And I almost think that corner's gonna be up higher, but I think I'm gonna get it cut out the way I have it. And then can always go bigger, but we can't put material back. So let's just start with what we've got and go from there, I guess. pretty but it's out I stayed way inside the lines on this one just because I'm really nervous that that's not the right spot and I can always come back through and trim this but I want to pull this plastic back off get those headlights mounted in like they show in the picture of course I'm not really reading the direction so that might be part of the problem too but get those headlight buckets in here and then put the plastic back on and we can kind of see how close we are all right, well, I'm learning here. So there's a little spot right here. There's an extra provision right there. And these, now I got stuck, are going to use that. I'm going to pull one of those out, reuse that. And then it kind of clips in there. And then the headlight bolts into that. So that's what I'm working on for the driver's side, bolt the headlight in, and then we can bolt it into the cart. And then we can kind of partially reassemble and see how much auger and out we got to do for our headlight holes. Spot for the wire to go through, so that's good. Okay. Now, let's see how much trimming we got to do. Well, there we go. You can see by the mess on the floor how much work that was. Um, just a lot of trimming and trying to fit. I decided rather than as hard as this body is to clip in and out of there, rather than try to fool on and off, on and off with that, I would just make the trim rings fit and hope for the best. And um, that's what I did. I didn't worry about the headlight placement so much. Just kind of made those trim rings fit. There's enough give and take around here that you're not going to see where it might be off a little bit. And actually turned out pretty decent. Gives the cart a whole another look. I know that headlight looks black. There we go. Just the angle, the shadows or whatever we got in here. I do have a uh, emblem if I choose to put it on there, but uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. All right, well, I did um, go ahead and put the light kit in um, off camera, um, the wiring, I should say. I've got the tail lights going back here. Shop is full again, so I can't get all the way back there, but um, just uh, ran out of time to get everything on film, but Got everything all nice and tidied up in there and zip tied, so I'm happy with it. Um, did end up with a USB charge port and, uh, of course, the button for the hazards. And I'll turn the lights off here so you can kind of see. Um, well, you can kind of see them now, I guess. So if we turn the app on, we can... Um, on the phone, we can adjust those and have those different colors and stuff for, um, you know, depending on what season it is, if you want them blue or green, or you can just leave it like that where it's multicolored too. But uh, we'll get into the app and see what all our options are for that. thought it was pretty neat, though. I'm really happy with this cart and the way it's turning out. I'm glad I went and switched that body kit on there. Um, I had all the parts and pieces, just never had the time to do it. So 
Well, there you have it. We successfully taken this cart from a precedent style body to a tempo. We've got headlights, taillights, uh, turn signals, the whole bit. So super excited about that. It looks a whole lot better. And uh, we'll get it back on Marketplace and hopefully get it sold. Stick around. We've got an exciting episode coming up on this guy right here, the 2012 green uh, precedent that I've been working on. We've got the new Allied battery set up in there and another video coming on that real soon. We'll see you next time.